Okay, carrying on with the the uh, timing case front cover and crank damper. All right, I'm removing the uh, pulley section. Um, that's where the belts run. Okay, yeah, it's held on by four bolts. You can see I've already taken the dog nut off. This uh, is in a different section. Be careful when you uh, remove this if you tap it because it'll either bend or break if you hit it with a normal steel hammer. This is the uh, proper puller which is advised by Land Rover. This is the Land Rover tool. You can see there's no resistance here pulling this off but you'll find that some of these now have been thread locked because they can actually um, rattle and come loose so it's recommended by Land Rover to actually thread lock it to the shaft and tighten the nut really tight. Look at it another way of doing this. Um, removing the dog nut with an air gun. All right, that, that's quite easy and the um, ring gear isn't actually locked up. Um, if we're looking at this, now here is a rubber section and I'm going to explain why this is such a hassle and especially using a hammer or a bar on that section um, will hinder you from pulling this properly. You can see the four bolts on there from uh, where I can put the puller into. Using a bar, possibly you could get more leverage and get it on the more of a solid part, but you're in danger of smashing the timing case front cover. So what I've done here, after a while, was start to use a, a hard hammer. And uh, yeah, it's moving, it's coming, all right, after a lot of work. And um, this is not always possible in the vehicle. But what I'll show you here now is the, uh, the amount of damage it causes, all right? Uh, this is now scrap as far as I'm concerned. Okay, this one is the uh, crank pulley for the uh, actually 200 TDI. What I've done, I've removed the pulley section, so what you're left with is this basically, which is partly a damper. What you can't really do is get a three-legged puller on this. The reason being, if you look around here, there's a rubber damper, all right? So if you've got the puller on the outside, and try to pull it, it flexes more on the rubber. Right. The thing is with this kit that I've got, it doesn't go far enough because it doesn't give me enough tools. What I have here, which is FR Churchill number FR 101, that is for holding. Can you see that? How that's dropped in the slot there? That's for holding this while it's on the engine, and then you can crack the dog nut off with a socket and bar, all right? Once that's off, you can then put a puller on this. These can be a pain to slip off. Some people actually thread lock these on because looseness can actually make this chatter, but um, they can be a pain. So what you've got is this puller in the kit, all right? But that comes also with this piece here, all right? I've actually got the original Land, Ro Land Rover one, and as you can see, in here there's a ball bearing. And this part here assists the ball bearing, okay? So that basically drops in there into the, the crank. You then fit that on there. You have four bolts, one, two, three, Four, okay. As with any pullers, their job is to pull something evenly. It will come a lot better than trying to put a lever behind it or two levers. Okay, so basically, looking at this, obviously you got your your bolts threaded down, and you can then turn this. The threads want to be lubricated. You get it's not just lubrication, but you get a certain amount of hydraulic pressure with it as well. Okay, and that should actually pull 